Welcome to the Tradex Foods 3 Minute Market Insight. Here's the seafood news for the week of March 4th, 2013. The Alaskan Longline Cod Fishery is underway again. The fishery is a combination of individual vessel quota for offshore catcher processors, a state fishery, and a community development fishery. We will look at the Bering Sea and the Aleutian Islands fishing where the bulk of the Alaskan Longline harvest is taken. The cumulative total allowable catch for all longline fishing is 260,000 metric tons. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration reports 26 vessels participated in the state-managed 2013 A-season cod fishery, which closed January 22nd. The total allowable catch for this fishery is 57,462 metric tons, with a reported harvest of 19,940 metric tons. The remaining harvest will be targeted in the B season, which opens September 1st. Vessels fishing more than three miles offshore are fishing by individual vessel quota and are able, are able to, to fish continuously until their quota is filled. There have been strong landings and high volume sales despite lower than expected prices, lower than expected market prices. Collarbone on prices in Europe started around $1.60 per pound but have since come down due to strong supply of Atlantic longline frozen at sea cod in the market. Prices for Atlantic cod have been $1.50 US per pound or lower. Recent indications from Europe are that prices have fallen to $1.15 on some sizes. J cut prices started the season at $1.45 US per pound FOB Dutch Harbor Alaska but have come down to a dollar and a quarter US per pound or lower. The Japanese buyers have been active buying winter caught cod. The Japanese demand has kept prices somewhat stable to date. Vessel owners see an end to the Japanese demand as the fish near spawn condition and markets are filled. Once we reach this point in the season, prices may be forced downward more or vessel owners may choose to store product in warehouses hoping prices increase later in the season. China may be an option for large volume sales provided acceptable prices can be negotiated. If export to China for long line frozen at sea cod increased buyers of value added products will see high, very high quality finished products in the market at reasonable prices. It is uncertain where markets will go as Alaska trawl fishing and Russian trawl fishing efforts increase. We will continue to follow this market and report timely developments. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Robert Ryerson, Buy Smart and Eat More Seafood.